clown's gone. Oh no, it's curving! It's fine. The car's design was quite complex. The rear axle was, um, it was a live axle with uh, fixed wheels. So the wheels were glued onto our um, threaded axle, which went through bearings in our PVC bike frame. And so there was a hook mounted to our rear axle. Um, the string would hook onto that and then um, it would wind up all the way and then it would release at the end of the springs um, uncoiling. And at that point it would just spin freely with the bearings. There was uh, very little friction. Um, and then our front was a live axle with bearings. And so it was about as little friction as we could possibly achieve um, because it had bearings on the axle and bearings on the wheels themselves. So um, not only did it eliminate friction in the wheels, but it eliminated friction in the wheels against the axle. Um, we used four mouse traps and we rivet, we glued those onto a piece of a small piece of plywood, which we riveted onto our um, PVC pipe frame. Uh, we mounted to the mouse traps lever portion um, a wire hanger, um, which extended out um, to the the center of the axle, which is where the hook was placed, and so that extension gave it. Um, greater distance for the traps to travel the lever extension and so it coiled um, it was able to coil on the axle significantly more so um, so we were able to get a lot more distance out of it and therefore um, also a little bit more um, speed just because it had more time for that force to be exerted rather than just wasted on getting pushed off um, R exerted a force of 1.4 newtons on the ground. Its mass was 0.14 kilograms. It traveled 9 meters in 7.2 seconds, making for a speed of 1.25 meters per second. And was to achieve a high momentum. The formula for momentum is mass times velocity. Uh, we achieved a high mass by using a PVC pipe frame, longboard wheels, bearings everywhere, metal axles. Um, this made it heavy, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. It's good for momentum, but bad for speed. Um, and then there's also the velocity factor. Uh, we achieved a higher velocity with the addition of three mouse traps on top of our one um, initial mouse trap. Um, most of our peers used one mouse trap. We used four because, like I previously stated, we had a larger mass than others. And the four mouse traps just gives it more uh, power. Um, our mouse trap car did achieve a high momentum. If you look at our video, we got four meters of the torque being applied to the rear wheels with the lever um, pulling on the axle, and then after that uh, string unhooked, it would just it rolled for five additional meters um, with little resistance thanks to our near frictionless design through bearings in the axles and wheels. Um, so yes, we did get a lot of momentum and as our design um, was, we wanted that momentum by doing a heavy, um, a heavy car and a lot of velocity to get a lot of momentum to just keep it going and then um, with our bearings it did and so um, we did achieve our initial goal. After analyzing the data that me and Jonathan have collected from our mousetrap car and after analyzing the design of our mousetrap car, uh, the only couple of changes that I think we would make would have been mainly to the weight of the car. Uh, the torque that we created off of the four mousetraps was sufficient to get it moving uh, for the weight of it, but I feel that if it had been much lighter, then those four mousetraps would have gotten the car to go a lot further, and uh, our mousetrap car would have been faster as well. Um, other than that, I don't think we would have made too many changes to the design. Uh, our bearings worked just how we wanted it to after the string uh, finished cut winding, unwinding the car kept rolling for a pretty good distance and the hook that we had on the uh, rear axle after the after the mouse traps had completely closed and the string came off that it prevented it from rolling backwards again or doing like a rubber band effect. So I think we're, we were pretty happy with our design. Um, other than the weight of it, it ended up being a lot heavier than we were expecting it to be.